Right, I'm going to show you quickly how to um, service your tench pressure gauge. You may have had one of these fitted for a while now and you may be having a slow leak. Um, the best thing to do is just pop the cover off um, use something that fits in the um, in the uh, fill port hole nicely and loosen it off and remove it all the way. Obviously I'm showing this just with an air cylinder, not in an actual rifle, but you should get the idea. Um, and obviously this needs to be completely drained of air before you attempt to do this, otherwise you could injure yourself. Right, that's your um, gauge. Um, there are very few places it can leak. If it's leaking out the um, fill port hole, then it's the o-ring on the back, um, that little o-ring there. Um, if it's leaking out um, out the um, sides, then it would be this o-ring that's leaking. And if it's leaking out around the gauge, um, it could be that the gauge itself has failed. There's a little breathing hole in there. Sometimes they fail and you get air hissing out of that. Or it could just be a case of the um, the doughty washer that's in there is, is has failed or it has some dirt in it. I'll show you how to replace all of them. Um, right, let's start off with the um, doughty. Put your holdy device in um, and use a 22 millimeter spanner or an adjustable and loosen that off, it's quite tight and that should just unscrew right here, that's the um, pressure gauge and this is a doughty seal or also known as a bonded seal um, I'll do a, a service kit for these in my e-shop um, at some stage just make sure it's nice and clean and there's no um, bits of swarf or dirt or anything in there. Um, if the seal looks damaged then it would be a good idea to replace it. Um, while this is apart, give everything a good clean. Pop the seal back on. You can put a drop of something like Abbey SM50 on there if you like. Um, it'll just um, protect it and keep it nice and clean. Make sure that's nice and clean and you can give it a bit of a once over. Put that back in. Alright, so then just tighten it back up. It needs to be fairly tight. Right. So that's that one done. Um, the next one would be the probably the most likely one to leak if you ever get a leak. I believe that's a five mil. Yes, five mil Allen key. This is just a little countersunk bolt, um, and there's a little O-ring on there. Obviously, just make sure that's all nice and clean. And the same goes for here, make sure that's nice and clean. Um, and replace this o-ring. Again, I'll make this as, as part of a little kit that you can buy from my e-shop if you need them. Um, pop that back in. You may have a silver bolt or a black bolt. It doesn't really make any difference. They both do the same thing. And lift that back up. Right, and then the other possibility is the sew ring, which you can use a little pick or something. Careful that you don't scratch the actual brass body, but you can just lift that out, um, give it a clean, put a new one back on. Again, you can put a drop of something like Abbey SM50 on the on the O-rings, um, just to protect them and lubricate them a bit. Um, when that's done. Um, it's just a case of screwing it back into your um, air cylinder and um, fill it back up and see how it does. Um, it should hold air. If it's not holding air, it may be a case of um, tightening tightening this up a little bit more, or or making sure that it is, um, you know, that there definitely is no dirt or grease or well, sorry, not grease, dirt or debris in the actual o-rings in the valve. Pop your cover back on, 
Job done.